Howdy everybody, welcome to Good News Book Reviews, hosted by yours truly, Gabe Trevino. Consider this the pilot episode, I suppose. As for today, well, today I have good news, everyone. This new book I read is quite marvelously thought-provoking. Now, go on and raise your hand if you've read Tyranny of the Gene, Personalized Medicine and Its Threat to Public Health by Dr. James Tabory. No bother. I shan't let that be an issue. I can give you the cliff notes to my cliff notes right now. You may ask me why I chose this specific book, and I may or may not answer that I don't remember. Or I might actually tell you that gene therapy, specifically pharmacogenomics, have fascinated me since my first high school biology class oh, over a decade now. You take your pick, listeners. It is absolutely worth your time and energy to read or listen to if you're an audiobook type of individual. Dr. James Jimbo Tabory, as he teaches us in a way that makes one feel like their eyes are being opened for the first time. It was quite compelling how many wowza moments I had whilst reading Tyranny of the Gene, especially concerning the maleficent factors that power what we often consider miracle cures. I say that in quotes. Throughout the book, my boy Jimbo primarily explores the powerful financial, political, technological, and scientific forces at play with personalized medicine and its current development. He challenges us to not lose sight of environmental factors when considering social determinants of both individual and public health. Tabory is asking us to question how the big players manipulate what we all consider biomedical truth into truth and to look deeper into the injustices these players have wrought throughout the decades. A haunting quote he imprints on us very early on is that, quote, we all have a stake in what this future holds, unquote. My oh my, does that give you shivers or what? I love a call to action. <laughs> My favorite part of this book is how provocative it comes across when challenging what many deem to be scientific progress and breakthroughs. It is timely in that now is the time to act against the genomics focus within personalized healthcare, and rather we should turn the focus back to environmental and social factors. I thought Jim's backstories brought a personal context in th these important scientific concepts. However, sometimes they felt a bit long-winded and distracting. Further, I wish that he had written more on implementable solutions to change our day-to-day. -day. His book cries out for improving health equity while simultaneously criticizing the modern healthcare system, and yet he fails to offer much of an alternative. Despite this, the tyranny of the gene continued to keep me hooked as Tabers critically investigates the wrongdoings of many in power that cause real ill effects on the average consumer. I am wondering how we can continue to progress gene therapy while creating safeguards against the risk of minority populations being victims of structural racism and even eugenics. Now a quick tip of the hat to our sponsor, Genes for Genes where they tailor the fit down to your personal coding. Get your closet a base pair or two today. Howdy listeners, welcome back to Good News Book Reviews with Gabe. So I've been wondering, how can we challenge the profit-driven pharmaceutical sector? Those ones who dare to sell these miracle pills on the market for prices that would bankrupt most individuals. I think these questions resonate with me for a reason, as our generation holds the power to create systematic change of healthcare systems and social policy in order to start to effectively promote health equity within this country and broader. As we come to a close, I must highly recommend giving this book a go if you're a sucker for health equity and justice like myself. I have learned much of the progress of genomics over the past 10 years, and I feel both enlightened and curious after taking in Dr. James Tabry's wise words of wisdom. 
If health policy ain't your cup of tea, I'd say this book is still worth a gander. Cause hey, we all got a genome. And that data is becoming more widely available as genomics is gaining popularity in the media and the scientific community alike. Well, folks, that's it for the first episode of Gabe's Good News Book Reviews. This may or may not be the only episode, so I hope you enjoy. And if not, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.